is NBC 10 News at 10. The discussions in public is that wildfires aren't cool. New at 10, more than smoky stopping the smoke and flames. Why Louisiana has seen a huge drop in wildfires, even in wildfire season. Three years after the floods and some of us still aren't whole. Now Louisiana plans to rebid some of the work again. In uh, the U.S. Work and welfare are about to get a whole lot more complicated. We thank you for your time and for your trust. I'm Gordon Boyd. Drought or not, these levels of summer heat can turn gra grass and brush into a tinderbox before you know it. But Louisiana must be doing something to ease its risk. The night team's Isabel Albritton looks at why the number of wildfires has dropped in the last decade. Isabel? Gordon, although Louisiana has seen a drastic decrease in wildfires, Commissioner Strain says the department will continue to work hard to keep them from increasing. According to records, the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry firefighters fought more than 1,600 wildfires in 2008. Ten years later, that number has decreased by more than 60 percent, despite the increase in burn bans. Commissioner of the Department, Dr. Mike Strain, says this is because of improvements the department has made through public awareness campaigns. The discussions in public is that wildfires aren't cool because it destroys property and can de destroy very delicate wildlife habitat. It can also result in loss of property, loss of homes, and loss of life. LDAF enforcement officers have also cracked down on arson. The department conducted 150 investigations, leading to more than 20 arrests in the past five years alone. And the number of arson cases, which, you know, at one time was almost half of our wildfires were due to arson. And now that's less than 25 percent, and the total number has gone down dramatically. The Geographic Information System, or GIS, and the Global Positioning Satellite lights or GPS have also played an important part in helping manage firefighting activities. And that has had a market effect and we really applaud everyone for working with us and, and really when there's a burn ban not burning we've also aggressively educated people through our prescribed burning programs. Department personnel say there are a few safety tips to practice to continue to lower the number of wildfires in Louisiana, including putting out cigarettes and never leaving a fire unattended. In the studio, Isabel Albritton, NBC 10, your local news leader. Isabel, thank you. New at 10, a Monroe woman accused of trying to kill a man during a fight. Deputies found the accuser and Misty Lee Fuller near the intersection of Highway 165 and Winsboro Road about 3.30 this afternoon. The man shot in one of his legs. He's being treated at a nearby hospital. Fuller is now charged with attempted second-degree murder. Also new at 10, a West Monroe woman in custody accused of abusing children at a daycare. An employee at Assembly Kids Daycare in West Monroe says that security camera footage shows a worker hitting a three-year-old and a four-year-old in the back with an open hand, grabbing and shaking them and then dragging them by the arm. Witnesses say that worker is Yolanda Jackson. A witness also claims to have seen Jackson dropping the kids and then throwing them to the floor. She's charged with three counts of cruelty to juveniles. A written statement from the assembly says that management itself notified police and fired Jackson after reviewing the video. Of course, it's not the first time abuse allegations have surfaced over at Assembly Kids Care. In May, we reported on a daycare worker rough handling a four-year-old girl after the worker claimed the child wouldn't listen. That teacher was fired, arrested, and charged with cruelty to a juvenile. Loved by his teammates and coaches, Octavius had a smile that would light up the room. Weeks away from the start of their season, the El Dorado Wildcats mourn a player lost to gun violence. 17-year-old Octavius Critton, a first-year player with the number six on his uniform, but number one in his team's heart, found shot to death after police began investigating a scene that left 23-year-old Justin Mayweather wounded. We're following a bunch of leads. There's a lot of evidence that has to be processed that officers and investigators obtain from the scene. His positive outlook on life is something that I'll hang on to forever. His happiness was contagious, and he was a real joy to be around. Counselors and coaches will be on hand for any student who may need support this week. Man has been shot to death during services at a tiny church in northeast Mississippi. The police chief in Ripley says that a county constable and another church member were involved and that 57-year-old Patrick Sanders of Dumas was killed. It is very shocking. 
this is a sweet bunch of people that goes to church here and never dreamed of somebody, you know, this happening. Investigators releasing no other details yet. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigation has taken over the case. Three of the four juveniles still on the run three full days after breaking out of Swanson. Police say that four suspects overpowered a guard, stole their keys, jumped the fence. The guard suffering minor injuries but did not require medical attention. Authorities are looking for Chance Johnson of Faraday, Donnie McCoy of Plaquemine, and 17-year-old Dakelon Berry of Mansoura. The Escapees were last seen wearing gray or khaki shorts, white t-shirts. Authorities already have caught 17-year-old Joseph Mitchell of Texas. If you have any information where these three might be, please contact Crime Stoppers of North Delta, 318-388-CASH. More than three years after our devastating floods here, Louisiana has ordered a do-over of the bidding for the company hired to oversee the rest of the cleanup. HGA, Hunt, Geo, and Associates won the multi-million dollar contract back in March, but conflict of interest concerns canceled it. The Edwards administration has ordered a do-over of the bid review process so that HGA can be considered again. Administration Commissioner Jay Darden will allow HGA and two other losing bidders to submit new proposals. The spokesman says that the evaluation committee can take as long as committee members need, so it's unclear when the new contract might be awarded. Lots of you are getting the message. Ambulance crews aren't seeing a spike in treating folks for heat exhaustion or heat stroke, despite the feels-like temperatures. We've come close to August average high even before lunch, and the actual temperature today, well, might top 100 degrees in parts of the Arklamist tomorrow. Heat's part of the job for so many of us that a number of our neighbors are just prepared for it. They know what to do and they, they tend to hydrate themselves properly. The, uh, the population that we worry about is the elderly, the children, people that are diabetics. Make sure that um, they watch the sugar intake. The excessive heat warning remaining in effect until tomorrow evening. Shannon Tucker of Hamburg, tonight's winner of our Jim Taylor Leadership's $50 gas card. If you call before our newscast ends, 318-807-0900. If you want to win some gasoline, register at one of the Jim Taylor Dealerships or go to myarklamist.com. Click on the contest tab and then watch for your name every weeknight during 10 at 10 on 10. Now, your local weather with Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd. As you've heard encouraging signs from the viewing public across the Arklamas that many folks have really listened to the warnings that we've been putting out since last week. That it's hot and that it's humid and that while we may be somewhat more accustomed to it here in the south, your body never truly gets accustomed to it. So uh, again, folks have been heeding the, the warnings of the hottest uh, temperatures so far this year headed our way yesterday, today, tomorrow. And uh, thankfully, uh, so far, everybody seems to be managing fairly well. And that's, of course, generally speaking. Across the uh, region, not much out there. We did have some spotty storms across portions of Richland, Franklin, Tensaw parishes earlier today. Showers and storms continuing to erupt across the Plain States. These are all behind the cold front that will move through our area. Area tomorrow. Several severe thunderstorm warnings associated with that. We also have tornado watches across portions of Indiana. Is any of that headed our way? No. As uh, this cold front moves through, it does make uh, a little bit of a dent in our big dome of hot air. But in general, it's the heat and humidity that still went over. Frontal boundary approaches the area tomorrow afternoon. And with this pass of the future tracker model, we are indicating at least some isolated specks of rainfall. It'll be very similar to what we saw today. If you pick up the rain uh, in your particular location, consider yourself fortunate. But generally, it'll be cloud line as it moves through in the area during the morning hours uh, Tuesday and into or late night Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. Additional showers and storms as the front stalls, generally along the I-20 corridor through much of the day. They'll be scattered and will continue through much of uh, Wednesday and into Wednesday night. And the sky's clear for Thursday. And while the temperatures do take a little bit of a dip, it's not really a big noticeable one. Mid 80s uh, currently at uh, the Monroe Airport, 85 degrees there, 87 in Shreveport, 84 in Monticello and in Greenville. And again, as I mentioned at the top of the newscast, last hour, even up until about 945, 950, heat index was still 100 degrees in Monticello, Arkansas. So that kind of puts all of this into perspective. Uh, excessive heat warning for all of North Louisiana tomorrow and all of our South Arkansas counties as well. The only exception is Miller County in southwestern Arkansas. It's for 
Texarkana is located. Uh, they're the only uh, Arkansas, southwest Arkansas County not under a heat advisory, but everyone in our area is, and that means heat index values 110 to 115 at their highest point tomorrow. Close tonight in the upper 70s. Uh, we'll spend most of the night in the 80s. And then upper 90s for highs tomorrow. Wouldn't be surprised to see 100 degrees uh, at any given location. Again, heat index values 110 to 115 at their highest point. Look at the seven day forecast. And again, uh, the relief comes in form of rainfall on Wednesday. Temperatures falling into the mid 90s. Not much of a cool down, but anything's better than nothing. Morning lows back in the mid 70s. And that's still uh, at a point 95s and 96s. Still, it's excessive heat. And you need to make sure that you're staying hydrated regardless. We all know the drill. It's just a matter of following it. Yep. Follow the rules. Use common sense. Thank you, Jared. The AG is not buying any of this. Any co-conspirators should not rest easy. The victims deserve justice, and they will get it. No defendant, no crime, and not quite. The Jeffrey Epstein investigation just got a lot more complicated. Five days on the run, a jail administrator murdered the low-tech that captured a fugitive. Later, most of the Arklamists will be back in school next week. What's the quickest way to a teacher's heart? We're back in two minutes. I'm Dr. Marshall Sanson of Sanson Family Medicine in West Monroe, Louisiana. We're not just a family practice clinic. We're also a seven day a week walk-in clinic. If your doctor's too busy to see you today, come see us. From coughs to colds to urinary tract infections, we're open seven days a week so that we can take care of you today. Our family taking care of your family. Sanson Family Medicine. I'm Andy Responi. I'm 100% pro-life, a lifelong outdoorsman, and a businessman who's created thousands of jobs. Conservative outsider, Eddie Responi. I'll stand with President Trump to ban sanctuary cities, require work for welfare benefits, and give voters the right to approve serious tax reform. A plan so easy, a career politician could do it. <laughs> they never will. Boom, there it is. Eddie Responi for governor. You need new clothes, but you want to stand out. Sure, you could shop online, or you could shop the Toggery. Casual to custom fitted. There's no shipping because the Toggery is local. You get the right fit right now. The Toggery. Front door parking. Same day shopping. Follow us on the KTVE NBC10 KARD Fox 14 Facebook page. If you've been involved in a car wreck, call Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys. Last week on Fallon. Get it together, idiot. Everyone had a ball. This week, there's John Travolta, Ice Cube, and Alessia Cara with musical impressions. And tonight, Common and Kate Upton. Then Seth has Kathy Griffin, new tonight. Start your mornings with NBC10 News today. Preparing you and your kids for the day with the bus stop forecast, showing you how to plan. The bus stop forecast on NBC10 News today, sponsored by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys. C10 News at 10 continues. We are now learning of serious irregularities at this facility that are deeply concerning and demand a thorough investigation. Attorney General William Barr is not questioning whether multimillionaire and accused pedophile Jeffrey Epstein killed himself, but how he could have, under what should have been high security, taken off of suicide watch following a mental evaluation late last month, less than a week after he was found hurt in his cell with bruises on his neck. NBC News has learned that Epstein's cell was not checked every 30 minutes as required. The Prison Employees Union says that staff cuts have left the facility down. More than three dozen officers and those left work mandatory overtime, including double, triple shifts, secretaries, case managers sometimes fill in for corrections officers. How are these decisions made? And then it comes down to, is this negligence or is this something else? New York's medical examiner awaiting more information before determining a cause of Epstein's death. President Trump's rule change means that food stamps or Medicaid could disqualify an immigrant from getting a visa or green card. The acting director of Customs and Immigration says it ensures self-reliance and self-sufficiency. It will also help promote immigrant success in the United States as they seek opportunity here. Trump keeps saying that he wants legal immigration, and yet this literally penalizes legal immigrants who have done everything right, waited in line.
Well, does not apply to those seeking asylum, but it does affect anyone receiving a single type help for 12 months in a three year period. But receiving more than one benefit shortens that period even further. The National Immigration Law Center calls the new rule a wealth test on immigrants, and the group plans to sue to stop it from taking effect. Five days on the run with the prison administrator's blood on his hands. What or who finally got the best of Curtis Watson? Tuesday on NBC 10 News Today, we are taking you across the pond to Europe. Jane Gunn will be here telling you how on this week's Travel Tuesday. And Lexi has the latest on this heat wave hitting the Arklamas. We'll tell you when we can cool off Tuesday starting at 5 here on NBC 10. News sponsored by Don Killen's Country Village. Who could ask for more? The very best brands with great savings at Fiesta Nutrition Center. Save on top sellers like Curum and Turmeric, CBD oil, and the best in immune boosters. Shop Fiesta Nutrition Center in Monroe. six-function multi-pro tailgate, available only on the next-generation GMC Sierra. Get over 10,000 total value on this next-generation 2019 Sierra Crew Cab SLT, or get 20% below MSRP on these 2019 Double Cab and SLE Crew Cab models with a traditional tailgate. See your Monroe area GMC dealer. You gotta get on down to Don Killen's. Manufactured homes, parts, and supply. There's no better time than now to make improvements to your mobile home. And Don Killen's Manufactured Home, Parts, and Supply is Northeast Louisiana's number one stop shop for all your mobile home needs. Doors, tubs, showers, faucets, plumbing supplies. If you need it, they have it, or their friendly staff will order it for you. So get on down to Don Killen's Manufactured Homes, Parts, and Supply. Five miles south of I-20 on Highway 165. Or give us a call at 325-7668. Ryan Chevrolet's million dollar truck and SUV sale has launched. You choose. Save 11,000 off new Silverado 1500s or 2500s. That's 11,000 off Silverado 1500s or 2500s. Shop a great selection of Silverados in stock. Buy today and get 11,000 off Silverados. Shop one of North Louisiana's largest Chevrolet and used car inventories online at RyanChevy.com or on Oliver Road in Monroe. Ryan Chevrolet, the number one Chevy truck and SUV dealer in Northeast Louisiana. Who could ask for more? The very best brands with great savings at Fiesta Nutrition Center. Save on top sellers like Curum and Turmeric, CBD oil, and the best in immune boosters. Shop Fiesta Nutrition Center in Monroe. The Animal House is your local pet store. Cypress Street, West Monroe. NBC 10 News at 10 continues. An Iowa police sniper won't face charges for a deadly shooting, but a woman once considered a hostage will. She at one point reached out, kind of caressed his head. Um, they smoked cigarettes together, um, you know, as well. The police sniper, sniper shot and killed 28-year-old Troy Peterson 45 minutes into an ordeal reportedly after he had pointed a rifle at the woman the police later learned was involved with her. In fact, Peterson and April Montel Roberts suspected in two murders. She now faced char faces charges of his murder. A good day because Curtis Watson is in custody. A day after his capture, we're learning a lot more about Curtis Watson's close calls and his five days on the run. Watson accused of raping and killing a prison administrator to escape custody in West Tennessee. Almost captured Sunday after a couple spotted him on security cam raiding an outdoor refrigerator. He'd been doing 15 years for aggravated kidnapping before his escape following the assault. It was that he was captured before her funeral because it gives us added um, relief that we can really bury our mother. Watson was captured about 10 miles from the prison. He is expected to be arraigned this week for first-degree murder and aggravated burglary, the DA considering the death penalty. A two-year-old found dead in a car in Kansas. Lawrence police found the body after getting a call about a child left unattended. The National Weather Service says the temperatures reached 88 degrees in Lawrence yesterday. The family has been notified and police are investigating. Teenage boys died in Texas after three dogs attacked him. 16-year-old Nelson Cabrera had wandered into the backyard of a home where he didn't live. Police tried to put themselves between Cabrera and the dogs, but the dogs turned on the officers, and the officers opened fire. One dog was put down for his wounds. The other two were being kept in an animal shelter. Police said that the owner had secured the dogs in his yard, and the owner says he believes his dogs simply were 
trying to protect him. Math probably is the first lesson of back to school when you get the bill for the supplies. It's why one business is doing its clipping for free. Find your new best friend. Help clear the shelters on August 17th. Join NBC10, Fox 14, and Banner Ford for this nationwide pet adoption event. Go to MeyerClemens.com for local shelters near you. Brought to you by these fine sponsors. Welcome to the all-new Banner Ford of Monroe. At Banner Ford of Monroe, it's a brand new day with a whole new way of doing business. With conveniences like loaner cars, service on Saturdays, and the largest selection, over 700 vehicles to choose from. Shopping price? Go to BannerFordofMonroe.com and compare our prices with any Ford dealership anywhere. Banner, building a new name everyone respects. Just off I-20 at the Garrett Road exit. I'm Donna Edwards. As a teacher, I believe the best opportunity you can give a child is a good education. That's why John Bell ended years of devastating cuts and is investing in our children's future again. He passed the first teacher pay raise in 10 years, increased funding for K-12 and higher education, and fully funded TOPS. It's a good start, but John Bell won't stop working until every child has the opportunities they need to keep moving Louisiana forward. Mr. Cloyd, all the salesmen, you know, here, I, I think it's just, for me, it's just a comfort level, you know, coming here, you know, as much as anything, just being able to call them on the phone, they know your name, they, you know, hey, this is Jeff Lee from over at St. Joe, I need to bring my truck, they know me, you know, they know who I am, you know, and they, they know my vehicles and, you know, know the history and drive up and, and hey, you know, they're, they're ready to, they're ready to help you out. Been to other dealerships, but it seems like we always wind up coming back here, so and buying a vehicle. Stay informed with the Business and Consumer Report on NBC10 News today. Featuring big business and consumer stories that affect us right here in the Arkle Mist. Tomorrow at 5 on NBC10 News Today. Sponsored by Goldman Equipment. T10 News at 10 continues. New Year's begun for Monroe Public Schools and teachers say that their number one focus is keeping our children prepared. More than 8,400 children and teenagers enrolled in grades kindergarten through 12 and teachers believe that support is critical. Back to school as some parents may be feeling a little bit clipped left and right for clothing and supplies. It's why a West Monroe barber shop gave kids free haircuts today. Barbers at G Cuts say it's important for kids to feel confident in order to succeed in school. Next in sports, the story of one athlete receiving the honor of a lifetime. Plus, we're going to preview two more teams on our high school football preview train. In about two Closed captioning, sponsored by Vantro Toyota. Right on the corner, right on the price. Tommy and Jenny came to Homeland recently because the Big Bang wasn't able to help them. And we were able to come up with a creative solution to help accomplish what the cookie cutter bank would not do. Because we helped here at Homeland, Tommy and Jenny's financial future is much stronger. We're Homeland Bank. Where's your money? The woods are calling your name. Get all the gear to make your hunt great. At McKinney's 34th Annual Fall Open House. Hi, this is Richie McKinney. This week, save $1,200 on a Honda. 500 Pioneer or save a thousand dollars on America's best seller, the 420 Rancher 4x4. Also, you can lay away now, pick up September 6th or 7th, and save big on the taxes. Join us this Saturday for the Honda drawing and free refreshments. It's the big 34th annual fall open house this week at McKinney Honda, your outdoor superstore in Ruston. The crowding at our area animal shelters keeps getting worse. And so does the cost of feeding these precious animals. That's why we're holding our annual pet food drive through August 17th, and we need your help. Please donate dry or canned food items at Little Veterinary Services, Bayou Dental Group, or the KTVE KARD television studios. Thank, Thank you. you. News, weather, and sports. Follow us on the KTVE NBC10 KARD Fox 14 Facebook page. Six-function multi-pro tailgate, available only on the next-generation GMC Sierra. Get over 10,000 total value on this next-generation 2019 Sierra Crew Cab SLT. Or get 20% below MSRP on these 2019 Double Cab and SLE Crew Cab models with a traditional tailgate. See your Monroe area GMC dealer. I'm behind on payments, and I'm afraid they're going to garnish my paycheck. What do I do? Stay calm and call Sam. Let's stop the garnishments before they start, because bankruptcy isn't what we do. It's all we do. Call Sam. 
My main part of banking has always been customer service. It's probably been the best bank I've been to that focuses solely on customer service and customer relationships and everything just kind of falls in place after that. We're Homeland Bank. Where's your money? LSU Tiger fans, it's time to get up and go. Get in the game and get the inside stories on Go Nation. Tomorrow on NBC 10 News Today, sponsored by Gordon McKernan, Injury Attorneys. Now, your local sports with Chris Demersion. The sky is truly the limit for one uh, Ruston High School athlete. He's a multi-sport star who has taken his talents to national TV. Dyson Fields isn't your ordinary high school athlete. I just thank God. I thank God almost every day because, like, I know I have something that most people don't have. The freshman is set to play three sports at Ruston High School this year. Football, basketball, and baseball. Uh, it's, a, it's really hard because, I mean, it's hard to transition from a, one to another to, like, hitting to, like, trying to hit something. Well, you get used to it. Already a champion in the Dixie Youth Baseball ranks, Fields was tabbed to be one of the 32 players nationally to play in the inaugural Perfect Game Festival in two weeks. The game will be broadcast on the CBS Sports Network. I was actually in a hotel, and I was with my friends, and we were, like, in a workout room. We were just, like, playing around. And then my dad called me and he told me, and I just, I was shocked. Fields is the lone player suiting up from Louisiana. It hasn't really set in yet, but I'm sure it will. I ain't really just thought, thought about it like that. Despite being a three-sport star, Fields has one wish for when he's a little bit older. I hope it takes me, like, to where I can, like, move on to, like, be possibly in the MLB in the big leagues one day. It could actually, his dad was a star at Oak Grove, a linebacker, I believe. Our two days coverage takes us to Caldwell Parish and Gina this evening. The Giants were 10-3 in 2018, including 8-0 and at home. Their season came to a close at Union Parish in the second round last season. This week, I caught up with head coach Jay Roark. He explained to me that they'll be returning three starters on the defensive side of the football. The opposite can be said for offense, which returns many of their guys from last season. But they do feature a new quarterback and I asked the new QB what he's looking forward to in the fall. Just running and getting early, getting up here early. Like, to see how good the offense is going to handle, like, all the tough teams we play. I think we're going to be fine. Uh, a lot of guys that we didn't expect to really has stepped up, and I, I feel like we're going to be just as good as we was last year in defense. There's a little worry because we had two offensive uh, linemen that were four-year starters, and uh, both of which had the opportunity to go play college ball this year, and it's, it's tough to replace that with some sophomores. Well, Caldwell Parish ended last season 9-4. and four. Their year came to an end thanks to a 6 nothing loss at home to Madison Prep. Head coach Buster Duplissy enters his fifth year at the helm. 14 starters returning, seven on both sides. They'll feature their all-district quarterback, Jaron Townsend, and a veteran defense, which only gave up an average of 7.5 points per game a year ago. Well, we've been doing the conditioning, you know, and getting used to this weather right now, but the conditioning is the big thing, and... Uh, the strength coach, Coach Jimmy Sampson, does a great job of getting them ready. So that's the thing that we've been trying to get ready for is just conditioning and getting ready to play 48 minutes. Tell their first scrimmage of the summer over the weekend. Plenty of questions in offense. ULM enters 2019 without Marcus Green, who's down with the Falcons, and running back R.J. Turner, who transferred to Texas Tech. Brainy's Batiste shine in the receiver role on Saturday. Five catches for 77 yards and a touchdown. Overall, five passing TDs during the scrimmage. I tell them, like, in scale, like, when it's just, like, 707 and things like that, to really work on their routes and their speed, like, their game speed, so we get a little timing down. Uh, every time we get a chance to throw the ball, I try to tell them, let's get timing down. Since, uh, like you said, we don't, we don't have much experience with each other or much uh, game experience with each other. More with ULM. We'll talk Tech and Grambling tomorrow at 6 and 10. Up next, G-Money and Cash Money Floyd on NBC 10 News at 10. Sports with Chris Demersion. Weeknights on NBC 10 News at 6. The world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. Available only on the next generation GMC Sierra. Get over 10,000 total value on this next generation 2019 Sierra Crew Cab SLT. Or get 20% below MSRP on these 2019 Double Cab and SLE Crew Cab models with a traditional tailgate. See your Monroe area GMC dealer. Let's get down to business. The business of road trips. 
adventure, and reconnecting. Modernized comfort inns and suites have been refreshed because our business is you. Get the lowest price guaranteed on all Choice Hotels when you book direct at choicehotels.com. Search for a really strong glue that's clear. Sorry, I didn't get that. Clear glue. <laughs> Clear Gorilla Glue. Of course. Gorilla Glue Strength in a crystal clear formula for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. At Washita Valley, you get the best of both worlds. We offer the same electronic services of other large institutions, but we have real people eager to help you at each of our branches. So come open a free checking account. No gimmicks, no restrictions, no hoops to jump through. Just plain old free. Still not sure? How about a chance to win $1,000? For a limited time, anyone who opens a new checking account with Washita Valley will be automatically entered to win $1,000. Washita Valley Federal Credit Union, making good things happen. I'm Dr. Marshall Sanson of Sanson Family Medicine in West Monroe, Louisiana. We're not just a family practice clinic. We're also a seven-day-a-week walk-in clinic. If your doctor is too busy to see you today, come see us. From coughs to colds to urinary tract infections, we're open seven days a week so that we can take care of you today. Our family taking care of your family, Sanson Family Get your mower going. It's here. It's now. The Xmark Triple Play Sales Event. Great pricing on Xmark's most popular models. And that's not where it ends. No interest financing until March. No payments until April 1st. And we'll restart the warranty clock on April 1st, 2020. So mow now and pay later. That's great pricing. A warranty restart and no payments until 2020 with 0% financing with approved credit. Xmark's Triple Play Sales Event going on now at Washita Lawn and Garden. I'm Eddie Responi. I'm 100% pro-life, a lifelong outdoorsman, and a businessman who's created thousands of jobs. Conservative outsider, Eddie Responi. I'll stand with President Trump to ban sanctuary cities, require work for welfare benefits, and give voters the right to approve serious tax reform. A plan so easy, a career politician could do it. <laughs> they never will. Boom, there it is. Eddie Responi for governor. Sports, sponsored by Ken's Coffee Service. Final look at the seven-day forecast shows afternoon highs back in the upper 90s tomorrow. Hydration remains key. Heat safety is critical. Heat index values between 110 and 115 could reach 117 at their highest point through the afternoon. Rain back in Wednesday. Most of that during the uh, late morning to early afternoon hours. Really doesn't cool things off much, but at least a little bit into the mid-90s for the second half of this week and on through the weekend. Morning lows taking a little bit of a dip, too, back into the mid-70s. Makes good Case for staying indoors if at all possible. If you can, please do. Thank you, sir. And that is NBC 10 News for Monday, August 12th. Bodie and Lexi are going to have you up to the minute. The minute you're up from 5 to 7 tomorrow morning.